such an honor to be here today. I love DC. I love the Cherry Blossom Festival. It's springtime, it's hope, it's beautiful, it's pink. Uh, what more do you want, really? Um, and what I love about the festival is that each year, the beloved traditions are always there. There's always something new and something exciting to experience. And that combination of both history and excitement is so, new, so unique. It's that pink drink. Um, and speaking of history, it's so lovely to be here tonight at the beautiful University Club. It's not my first time. I once was entertained by a gentleman caller here. That's not a lie. And I was like, is this even allowed here? <laughs> Seems a little formal, but no one knew until now. <laughs> All right, and to welcome us to tonight's venue is Doug Bonner, University Club President. And I, I apologize. Thank you, Carson. I couldn't have asked for a more colorful introduction. <laughs> Uh, distinguished guests, um, dignitaries, um, Deputy uh, Chief of Mission Tamaki Tsukata, welcome. Uh, we're, we're proud to have you here. As Carson mentioned, I'm president of the University Club, which has roots in the District of Columbia extending to 1904, uh, nearly 120 years ago. And uh, the club's physical connection with the cherry tree dates back a long time, 17 years in fact, to April 14, 2005, when, when the club hosted an event here honoring First Lady Helen Nellie Heron Taft, uh, wife of President William Howard Taft, our founder, and the first president of the University Club. However, the uh, connection between our founding le leadership and the cherry tree is much longer. In 1912, Mrs. Taft, uh, the First Lady planted just a few of the 3,000 cherry trees, the sakura, which as you know, um, uh, symbolizes the ephemeral nature of, of beauty in West Potomac Park here in the, um, in the district, a very generous gift of Japan to our country, and which we cherish today. The two trees she planted are still there, uh, marked by a plaque if you care to, care to uh, find it among the 3,000 trees. Um, the highlight of the 2005 event here at, at the club was the dedication of a Yoshino uh, cherry tree that was planted just outside of our mansion on 16th Street in honor of the influential and transcending wife of the 27th president of the United States. The club's president at the time was another powerful trailblazing woman the Honorable Susan K. Neely, who holds the distinction of being the first female president of the University Club of Washington, D.C. Susan, are you here tonight? Any chance? Oh, unfortunately not. Um, as a lifelong, lifelong Washingtonian, I've, I've personally appreciated the beauty of the Sakura uh, with my family during the spring season, not just near the, our beautiful memorials here in the city, but in the Kenwood neighborhood near my hometown of Bethesda where it's much easier to park, for one thing, uh, in the springtime. Uh, but also common to see uh, newly married couples, uh, particularly from Japan, uh, posing for professional, uh, professional wedding photographers. Uh, my father also, when he was stationed in Korea in the 50s, painted uh, Sakura in, in uh, Korea when he was stationed there. So that ha has um, personal significance to my family. Our motto here at the um, University Club of Washington is enter all of ye who have a degree of good fellowship and learning. And I think that, uh, that all of you qualify. Um, so I hope all of you visiting us today enjoy yourselves and possibly have learned a little bit more about us here at the, at the club and our history and of the National Cherry Blossom Festival. Welcome. Thank you so much. Oh, that made me sound like I was a, like Lady Gaga. It was so modern and trancy. Um, thank you so much. Oh, the Tafts, I love them. He was a great president. Um, I remember that administration. Great kisser. Anyway, 
no, I'm making that up. I don't remember. I had a pink drink and it's all a blur, but it was here. Uh, but, but I'm gonna get back to the script, much to the organizer's delight. Um, judging by the crowd in this room, I can tell this is a highly anticipated event. And before we get to revealing an exciting sneak peek at the 2023 festival and the official artwork, we also want to take a moment to acknowledge a few of the key stakeholders in recent, ac recent accomplishments and accolades in the festival recently received. To present these awards, please welcome David Moran, National Cherry Blossom Festival Board Chair. Thank you, Carson, and the University Club of Washington, D.C. for hosting today's event in this beautiful space. Uh, I'd also like to take a moment to thank our launch event sponsors, Meriki and Rubino, as well as our printing partner, CSI. Yeah. Wouldn't be happening without them. The National Cherry Blossom Festival was recently recognized by the International Festival and Events Association with several pinnacle awards, representing the best of the events and festival industry. Other festivals recognized through this program include the Tournament of Roses Parade, Vivid Sydney, and the Philadelphia Flower Show. In recognition of the important role our stakeholders played in the helping us achieve these awards, we'd like to take a moment to invite these stakeholders to the stage to receive a personalized plaque and take a photo. Joining me in presenting these awards will be Morgan Hanel, Director of Development and Partnership. It's not going to want to do that, is it? There we go. Without further ado, we are pleased to present the following awards. We are pleased to present Events DC, a silver award, silver award for our best full-length TV program for the National Cherry Blossom Festival 2021 Celebration Show. Accepting the award on behalf of Events DC is Janier Hubbard, Senior Vice President of Communications and Marketing for Events DC. Next, we are pleased to present Amazon a silver award for best sponsorship program for an individual sponsor for Art in the Bloom program 2122. Accepting the award on the behalf of Amazon is Patrick Filippi, Senior Manager, Community Engagement at Amazon. Also, we are pleased to present Chase, a gold award for best event within an exist existing festival for the 2022 Petapalooza. Accepting the award for Chase is Alfonso Guzman, Managing Director of Consumer Affairs and Community Banking at Chase. We are pleased to present the Capital Riverfront Business Improvement District, a gold award, as well as for best event within an existing festival for 2022 Petalpalooza. Accepting the award for the Capital Riverfront bid is Bonnie Train, Vice President of Marketing and Operations and Chief of Staff. And last but not least, we are ple pleased to present to America Communications Group a gold award for best media relations for the 2022 festival. Accepting the award for America is Morgan Dye, managing partner. Okay. 
Also, we'd like to thank Planet Cotton for our merchandising partner who made the winning a gold medal for best merchandising program for 2022 festival possible. Congratulations to all our winners. As we look forward to the 2023 festival, we'd like to start with a sincere thanks to the government of the District of Columbia, <laughs> including the Mayor's Office, City Council, the Embassy of Japan, the Japan Foundation, and the National Park Service. everyone. Um, it is also my great pleasure to recognize our Leadership Council sponsors, Events DC and Amazon, as well as our festival uh, host sponsors, uh, Chase, All Nippon Airways, Mars Incorporated, TCMA, a Drew company uh, for Ronald Reagan Building and International Trade Center, and Downtown DC Business Improvement District. I encourage you all to take a moment to look at your program to see our full list of 2023 sponsors who have already come on board and committed support for the upcoming festival. In addition to our amazing sponsors, each of you in this room is an integral part in one of the world's greatest celebrations of spring. And we are so grateful for the support and partnership. And with that, I will give it back to Carson. Thank you, Morgan. It's so nice to recognize all our sponsors. I was just thinking about how I buy all of my cotton products on Amazon with my Chase card, and it's just so rewarding. I just want to come to DC and visit the Japan Embassy. I just, I, anyway, I digress. Um, did, I, did I mention Amazon, Patrick? Okay, just, there's a couple packages that are a little late too. I'm gonna talk to you, maybe you can help me track them. It's the holidays, but they're usually too sweet. You love when they send you the picture from your door, you know, I'm just like, oh, my door looks terrible. My plants look awful. Anyway, spring is always my favorite time of year in Washington, DC. I love it so much because I live in New York and like, it's spring here like so much earlier. It's like 41 degrees and snowing. I get on the train and I come down here, there are cherry blossoms blooming and people are wearing shorts and they're jogging around Georgetown, which I would never do. Um, but still, it's delightful. Now back to the script. And I always enjoy being part of the celebration as it's always packed with amazing events and performances and of course, miles of pink, pink, pink. I have the unique privilege and very special announcement this year about this year's Grand Marshals. And when I got here, I was asking the organizers, like, who is the Grand Marshal? Is it Smokey Robinson? Is it Taylor Dane? Who is it? Because I'm nosy. And um, I'm gonna tell you guys, um, this year, uh, it's been 15 years since they last joined the National Cherry Blossom Festival Parade presented by Events DC. And we are so excited that, drum roll please. Thank you, DC. <laughs> Mickey and Minnie Mouse will be coming all the way from Walt Disney World Resort to be the Grand Marshals. Hide your cheese, everybody. They're coming. In 2023, even if you've come to the festival every year, there's always something fun and new to experience, whether it's culture, community, art, music, and so much more among the beautiful cherry blossom trees. Let's take a look at what's ahead for March 20th through April 16th, 2023. <laughs> it's over there.
That's me. <laughs> oh, was that it? Is it done? I thought it was going to end on a close. Oh, no, there's... Nope, that was it. Oh. Okay, that's it. I'm not going to lie, the first part was really blurry because I didn't have my glasses on, and then I was like, this is really good. And then it got to me in that brightly colored quilted jacket from J. Crew sample sale, not available. We're going to roll the tape so you can see it again. Okay, we're good. We're safe. All right, I am very excited. I didn't know there was all that great stuff. I'm coming back for all of it. I want to go to Petal Palooza and I want to go to that art thing sponsored by Chase and I'll have my Amazon packages rerouted to here. I'll be at the Willard. It's lovely. Um, I like it. Uh, anyway, I'm so excited and I, I don't know what I'm looking forward to more. But while I take a moment to gather my thoughts and plan all my events, um, my festival experience, uh, I would like to introduce our very esteemed guest. Please welcome to the stage Ambassador Sukata, Deputy, Deputy Chief of Mission for the Embassy of Japan. Uh, thank you, Carson, for the great entertainment. Um, <laughs> Well, I see a lot of uh, pink today, and I'm expecting this. Uh, it's so uplifting and uh, great sensation to have this uh, joyous feeling with uh, this uh, pink uh, uh, attire and uh, this uh, mind-boggling uh, <laughs> sense of uh, being already part of this uh, uh, process uh, leading up to the uh, Cherry Blossom Festival. Actually, you may notice that I'm wearing blue today. <laughs> it's not that I forgot that today was the uh, kickoff event, but I deliberately chose blue because I think one important thing uh, that we want to see uh, during the, the, the festival is the blue sky. So this <laughs> is my um, hope that we will be uh, blessed with uh, wonderful uh, weather during the uh, festivities. Um, first of all, uh, thank you very much to the University Club for opening up this uh, wonderful uh, venue for, for our gathering. And also, um, I'd like to thank Secretary Bassett for joining us this evening. Um, my thanks as well to Diana Mayhew and uh, David Moran for hosting this uh, great event. I'm really delighted to have uh, to, to be here for the kickoff of the 2023 um, Cherry Blossom um, Festival. The gift of the cherry uh, blossom trees uh, dates back to 1912, as you all know. Um, this was a gift from Tokyo to Washington, D.C. Uh, and this has become a living symbol of our close ties and great friendship between our two countries. And each year, the festival brings uh, people from across the country to uh, Washington to celebrate jointly the coming of the spring and to celebrate the uh, friendship between our two countries. Now, 2023, uh, we will going to celebrate the 111th year of the gift uh, of the trees. Yeah. Um, while this is not as flashy as the centennial that we celebrated about a decade ago, but it is still very important because this year, I mean 2023, we, we will be uh, seeing the return of the international performers from Japan to the opening ceremony. After they were originally scheduled for the 2020 festival, a folk singer Anna Sato and drummer Toshiyuki Sasaki will finally come to Washington, D.C. for a musical collaboration featuring the traditional folk songs of the Amami Islands in Kagoshima, Japan. We will also uh, see the ensemble Ma Mika Yoshida and friends uh, who will bring the music of marimba to Washington, D.C., to the Warner Theater. Also, I wanted to mention that the high-energy taiko performance of Tamaga University, one of the highlights 
of the parade and the street festival is coming back after three years uh, of uh, absence. So people-to-people -people exchanges like this um, is very important. It's in fact one of the critical part of our festival and of course of the Japan-US relationship. And we would like to see this grow even further. Speaking of which, now that travel between Japan and the United States are open, we would like to welcome all of you. Uh, return, go back to, come back to Japan. And for good measure, the current dollar yen exchange rate uh, is such that it makes a great, great bargain for you to all go, go, to go visit Japan. So, and finally, our Japan Information and Cultural Center will be hosting an exhibition of artwork featuring flowers, and this will include pieces from local school uh, in the DC area. So with that, I would once again like to um, celebrate and uh, look forward to seeing you all in the 2023, 2023 uh, festival. Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador. So handsome. <laughs> Is there a Mrs. Ambassador? <laughs> I didn't notice a ring. Not that I was looking, but I was looking. Carson Cressley Cicada. That has a nice ring to it. Think about it. Think about it. They're going to love me back in Japan. Um, we can go to Lane Crawford. You guys, you must go to Japan. It is the most fabulous country. They have fantastic shopping and the food is delicious and everyone is so nice. They have those things where they smush you into the subway with like a big stick. Um, but they're lovely about it. It's not New York. Let me get back to the script. Thank you, Ambassador Sakata and the Embassy of Japan for your continued support of the festival. This celebration of Japanese culture and international friendship is so important no matter what time of the year. Now, in celebration of Japan being open for travel once again, the festival, together with longtime festival partner ANA, All Nippon Airways, I know what I'm talking about, I've flown it. They're so nice on that airline. They put a little post-it note on like your tray table asking if you'd like something to eat if you're sleeping. It's not American Airlines, let me tell you. <laughs> They'll just bang into you with the cart. Oh, did I, was that your leg? I'm so sorry. I'm, they're okay too, but they're no ANA. Uh, so ANA is providing, this is so exciting you guys, a pair of round trip economy class tickets from the US, I'm sure economy is even lovely. It's one of those airlines where even economy, they give you food and just a little splash of respect. Um, it's really great. But you're getting two tickets, economy, uh, from the US to Tokyo, and details of the official rules for the sweepstakes will be announced no later than mid-December. So make sure to stay tuned. Soon, you've got to go. It's the best country. And there's nothing more iconic than Washington, D.C., during the National Cherry Blossom Festival. And here to talk a little bit more about what the festival means to your wonderful, gorgeous city is the secretary of the District of Columbia, my new friend, Kimberly Bassett. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Carson. I mean, we're laughing, but he, I, really admire what he's done. He's sunshine and he's been a trailblazer and we really appreciate all that you've done for our country. So thank you, Carson, yeah. on a very serious note. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'd first like to say thank you for your votes. I am representing our third time mayor, Mayor Muriel Bowser. <laughs> it's history making and I'm very proud to be here. Ambassador Sukata, thank you so much. I'd also like to thank Doug Bonner. Thank you too, please, this beautiful place that you've opened up to us. And my board chair, David Moran, thank you so much. And all my board members who are here, they're not my board members, they're David's, but you know, 
Uh, please raise your hand and thank you for being here. Yes, this is really amazing. I'd also like to thank my um, one of my new colleagues, so Salima Khalid. She's here today, um, representing the mayor's office, the nightlife office. And I walked, I saw Ansel Jordan. Hi, Mr. Jordan, how are you? So he is our community leader in Oxen Run Park. It has the largest, second largest number of cherry blossoms in the city in Ward 8. So we just thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Mr. Jordan. And also our rock star, Diana Mayhew. None of this is in my script, by the way. Diana, thank you so much. And your beautiful team who are amazing, so thank you. And so now we're gonna get started. Thank you all for being here again. I'm so excited for spring so that all of our residents and visitors can see the city in springtime and explore DC and what it has to offer because DC is open. Yes. I know many of you in the room have been to our festival just like I have for the last several years. But what I love is that there's always something new and exciting to experience, whether it's homes decked out for spring with petal porches presented by Amazon, or delicious cherry picks restaurants, um, or people enjoying pet friendly festival events in our better cities for pets certified city. What so expiring is so how that our community comes together to celebrate this season. I invite all of you to mark your calendars for the first day of spring on March 20th, when the Frederick Douglass Memorial Bridge will light up in pink a second year in the row to officially welcome spring into our city in bloom. Yes, I, I lit the, the bridge, it was very exciting. Can I come back? I love that. The bridge is a symbol of uniting communities. It's a perfect way to celebrate what the festival means to Washington, D.C., to our country, and to the world. So as we eagerly await the festival season to come, I'm thrilled to make our final big announcement of the evening to reveal the 2023 official artwork. Joining me now on the stage is the Park West artist, Orlando Cavito. You're so sharp. Come on, Orlando. Very nice to meet you. Orlando's beautiful wife is here today, Madeline, and she's celebrating her birthday. So Madeline, where are you? Oh, there she is. Happy birthday, girl. Thank you. Um, also, Diana, would you please come up? And Ambassador Sukata, would you please come up? Please come to the stage so we can reveal the official artwork and share it with our festival friends and supporters and stakeholders who are here today. So, Orlando K. Vito is a Cuban-born artist. After graduating from the Institute the, to Superiore di Arte, did I say that better? All right, in Havana, Cuba, Cuba, he immigrated to Philadelphia, where he worked as a professor of art appreciation at LaSalle University. While in Philadelphia, Orlando began to apply more vibrant colors on his canvases and eventually developed his unique style, magical realism. Orlando definitely has applied his signature style to depict the captivating beauty of the blossoms on canvas for a breathtaking and mesmerizing artistic interpretation of the National Cherry Blossom Festival. A lot of pressure there. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. So on the count of three, let's lift the veil so everybody please count with me. Oh, do I need to? Yeah, you just. Oh, I'll stay here. Stand back. Oh, stand back. <laughs> okay. This is so exciting. <laughs> yeah. Orlando. 
Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. And what I enjoy the most is my um, cherry blossom ornaments. So please get your cherry blossom holiday or ornaments from 2022. I can't wait to see this on my tree for 2023. So thank you, Orlando. Um, thank you for all that you have done. And we're going to let you. Well, th this is the hard part. The easy was doing this. Now talking is the hard part. <laughs> exactly. Th thank you very much. It was an honor for me to be part of these festivities. Uh, Especially for me as an immigrant, to be part of something so American, so important, and so well uh, recognized in the world, uh, is extremely uh, flattering for me to be part of something like that. Especially in my case, coming from so long, from so far away to be here in, in this position. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Again, thank you, Orlando, for this beautiful artwork. The depiction of the blossoms, this magical tidal basin, is truly unique, and it actually brings back that feel and the experience that people have had over the years. And again, we want to thank the National Park Service for all of their hard work year-round to care for these trees so people for generations can to come to can enjoy them. Um, thank you, National Park Service, for your partnership in putting together the Tidal Bales Basin Welcome Area and ANA Stage, where, again, that this is where we do over 100 performances each year and welcome hundreds of thousands of people to the festival. At this time, I'd like to invite Jeff Reinbold um, up to the stage, Superintendent of National Mall Memorial Park. <laughs> In recognition of all your support and effort for the entire Park Service, we've given you a jacle, a very limited edition of jacle of the artwork to hang up in your offices. So again, thank you very much. And if you all want a copy of this, there's two more available, very limited versions of them that are going to be auctioned off between now and December 14th. And all of the proceeds from that auction will go to the National Trust Fund for the Adopt a Tree program. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, Jeff. I appreciate it. If you, you see this, the QR code up there on the screen, if you want to do your thing just to get that. If not, it will be emailed to you after this event, so you can bid off and pass it on to your friends. Again, providing the support for the Dr. Tree program helps us to maintain, helps to trust the Park Service to maintain these trees, to help replace them when they're necessary, um, and the funding, we're continuing to build that fund. So thank you very much again. Uh, before bringing Carson back up again, I'd really like to take this moment to thank again the University Club, but really thanking our board that's here and all the people that, all of you who helped put this event together for us but mostly our National Cherry Blossom Festival team. Some of you are in your room, wave your hand if you're in here. They work year round, not just this event tonight, but year round in putting this together. They're dedicated and I'm really, really so proud to be part of that team. So thank you very much and Carson, come on back. Thank you so much. Thank you, Diana. Thank you, Lillian, for having me. It's just there's so much hard work that goes into making this amazing event happen every year, which we should all be so proud of. Um, when they were unveiled, isn't this gorgeous? Uh, we're gonna start the bidding at 10, no, I'm kidding. I just always wanted to do that, like in, in that movie with Sigourney Weaver. Um, 
the pipisca is broken. Uh, anyway, and then when they were unveiling it, I was thinking about that Brady Bunch episode where like Mike is designing a new hotel at the theme park, but they lose the plans somewhere on a ride, and then they do the big unveiling and it's Yogi Bear. And I thought it would be really funny if we put Yogi Bear in here, but then that wouldn't have, no. The ambassador has no words for me. I'm, they're gonna love me in Japan, I'm huge there. Anyway, back to the script. Thank you, Diana. Uh, in addition to the auction, there are a couple ways you can engage with the artwork. You can certainly scan that thing over there. Um, and then you can also stop by the immersive artwork reveal photo op. This is so cool and so tech savvy. And it, there's a special, can I tell what the surprise is or no? Oh, when you take your picture in the photo booth, it's actually gonna put you right here in the artwork. It's so great. Oh, it's out there. I, I'm so disoriented from that pink drink. Uh, but it's a really cool feature, and it's a great memory of tonight, and you'll get your own version of the artwork. Um, and then you can also view the 2023 official artwork starting tomorrow through December 7th at the Japan Information and Culture Center. And lastly, uh, don't forget to grab your poster calendars. They look like this. Yeah, I was on QVC. Here we go. Let me, thank God I got a man. Oh, get a photo of that. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can grab these. Um, they're courtesy of our friends at CSI Printing and Graphics. Okay, before you leave, get one of those. They're highly collectible. And, um, oh, it starts with January, so that's super handy. That's coming right up. And it goes all the way through December. This is so useful, much better than a phone. <laughs> Just put this in your pocket. Uh, and with that, I say, and I've always wanted to say this, blossoms out, everybody. <laughs> Sounds like something you'd say in a sorority house. Blossoms out. Thank you again to the University Club. I've had many, ma oh, the guy's gone. I had many magical moments here. Well, one. And um, for hosting our event. And we will see you, everybody, on March 20th through April 16th, 2023, at the National Cherry Blossom Festival. So, you know what? Put your blossoms out all year long. Why not? And we'll see you at the festival. Thank you so much.